welcome to my channel. I am the Soul Teacher. I am here to do your June 2020 reading. Um, June looks like it's going to be a very eventful, interesting month. We do have loads and loads of planets in retrograde. So yeah, it's the energies are a bit intense. Um, but I've noticed that there's a, a huge emphasis on relationships which is interesting but okay yeah then on the other side 2020 is the year of relationships so yeah it makes a lot of sense but without any further ado let's get into your reading and see what we've got thank you spirit and angels for your guidance <laughs> can we have overall energies for cancer for june 2020 please and we start out with a black dragon. Black is magic, by the way. So many people see black as a dark or a negative color, and it actually is, it's the color of magic. It symbolizes magic in all its forms. So yes, June looks like it's gonna be a magical month for you, Cancer. Let's just go from there, shall we? One more card, please, for Cancer for overall energies for June 2020. Fire and water. Okay, so Black Dragon cocoons you so that your divine potential grows. Meditate, reflect, undergo a metamorphosis. Now, Cancer, I know that you've um, been through quite a few <laughs> metamorphoses the last few months. I know I'm, I'm, my moon sign is Cancer, so yeah, I resonate a lot with Cancer. Fire and Water Dragon enables your life to flow with loving force. I love this card. Prepare for change and to move forward quickly. Expect the unexpected. Have fun. I think this is my favorite card in this whole deck. I absolutely love this card. I love, I love the fact that it enables your life to flow with loving force. That loving force is just, love is the most powerful force in the universe. It's my favorite saying. Thank you, spirits and angels, for your guidance. Can we please have two cards for overall energies for Cancer for the first two weeks of June 2020, please? Two cards for Cancer for June 2020. Overall energies, please. Two cards for Cancer. Mm, there's too many. There's four. I'm not going to take them. Two cards, please. Oh, there's... Oh, here we go. I thought there was one and then there was two. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's start with this one. <laughs> the crumbling. What are you clinging to? This, guys, is the tower. Don't fret the tower. Aries had that um, card. Birthing a new age. Birthing new creations. Dreaming a new world into being. That's why I say don't fret the tower because nothing can ever change if it doesn't crumble first. You don't fix something that's working, right? So it needs to break first before you can even think of trying to fix it. Where's my cards? There we are. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to do three cards for career and three cards for love. And then we're going to use the Arcanum Tarot deck. Um, this is the Akashic Tarot, by the way. We're going to use the Arcanum, Arcanum Tarot deck then to put some meat on the cards and also to get to the potential outcome of your meeting. Um, okay, guys, I was just um, almost quite overwhelmed by very, very strong energies coming in. So I have a feeling this is going to be a very powerful reading. So let's go. Thank you, spirits and angels, for your guidance. Please, can we have three cards? I'm going to take this one. For Cancer in career, please. Two more cards. Okay. One more card for Cancer in career, please. One more card. Okay. Ooh, community. This is interesting. Okay, so... Let's see. We have the King of Scrolls. 
that's someone that knows what he's doing in his career obviously and he's looking at something so in this deck that they have this these fun little things that says you need to see where this guy is looking and where the spire um, or the tower or in this case the pillar where it shows and this one shows to fire and water dragon enables your life to flow with loving force and the adjacent card is, is Archangel Michael. So this is the truth of sword um, and he's protecting the little ones. He's protecting the energies that's um, the innocent, the the pure, the kids are, are um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Kids are vulnerable. There we go. He's protecting the vulnerable. This one is community. Um, now I know in the book this card says there are lots of things um, that is very specific in this reading for instance Kepri the scarab is there Buddha is right there um, there's a lot of things I can't remember all of them but they're very significant and and what it what it always what are those oh it's a dream catcher okay there's a dream catcher they this always said to me that um or gave me the feeling that we are in a soup of energies yes but <clears throat> with community we we can all come together every one of us um within different religions within different um places in the world that they're not all of the same um ethnicity so it's like that guy is indian that chick looks quite um dutch to me this guy looks like a german i don't know why that, that came through but it did <laughs> community tells me that everybody everybody is coming together as one and that's what what we're doing here on earth at the moment is we're all coming together as one we're not we're not separated any longer can we please have three cards for Cancer in Love, please? And there's two cards. I assume this one actually came out in the Libra um, reading. Up in the air. This is interesting, Cancer. This is a, your, for your love reading. So what, what this tells me is, um, assume is the meaning of this card is assume and then you would, you would sit down and you would say, Atsum, I am here or I have arrived. This is to bring you back to the present moment. This is when you've been somewhere that you're not present. You're not, um, it's also the 22 card, which is a twin flame master number as well. Um, the duality coming into balance. Now, with this, it tells me that wherever you're at, you should come back into the now and be present where you are now because there's stuff that's still up in the air it's not decided yet so you need to get your your head space back into the now not be somewhere where you're not at yet and the reason why this happens oh there you go see reflection the reason why something is still up in the air is specifically because there are other people involved um this is this is 18 which which comes to a nine which comes to um which means in tibetan numerology this is an ending here we have reflection um on reflection we're looking at at past energies and where where we've been and where it it has brought us to this present moment to try and decide if, is this the way that we want to live our lives um the one and the nine nine plus one is a, is a ten so it comes to a new beginning this is where we this is what i call the we're on the zero point path now the reason why we get to a zero point is because our souls brings us to a place where we have a chance to make a decision to to change the future from here on forwards to see okay I've I've been there this is what I've been doing and this is where I am at the moment because of the stuff that I've been doing here in the past is this where I want to be do I like where I am or would I like to change whatever I've been doing in the past to change it going forwards so that it brings me to a point that I might be happier with 
that is what the zero point path means in very um, uh, lame terms it's like it's it's a very big overview of what the zero point path is um, I, I do have a course available on that um, if you were interested my email address is in the description box below anyway so let's get to the Arcanum Tarot to see what this reading is telling us Thank you, angels and spirits. Oh, let's just, <laughs> okay, that just happened. Goodness. Thank you, spirit and angels for your guidance. Please, can we see why the king of scrolls is in the career position, please? Why is the king of scrolls in the career line? Please give us clarity. Two cards on the king of scrolls. Why is the king of scrolls there? The cards are very unruly, Cancer, very unruly. Okay, Knight of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Pentacles. You're in a very good space career-wise, Cancer, that's for sure. Can we please have two cards for Archangel Michael, please? Why is Archangel Michael in the career line? Page of Pentacles, that's bringing you a message of abundance. And the Nine of Wands, something that you've been waiting for, Cancer. Wow. Can we please have two cards on... The Eight of Roses, Community. My goodness, why are the cards jumping out like this? Can we please have, oh, the, the World card was here and, and that's basically what I said about this, right? About everybody, all the races of the world coming together, standing as one. This is quite interesting. <clears throat> the Hierophant, this is higher spiritual understanding, higher commitment. Maybe a promotion, maybe you becoming a boss. That's very cool. Maybe you maybe this is this is something. Oh, this is you, Cancer. The chariot is you. <laughs> I knew this god was gonna come out. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Oh my goodness, it's so cool. It is so cool. Sorry guys, I get really excited about synchronicities. <laughs> and I mean I, you you saw, you saw this flipped out. And I, I did mention it, and I did say that it has... Come on, this is just crazy. You can't make this stuff up. This is you, Cancer. This is you moving forwards, moving ahead, going, going into the future differently. This is you having a higher position in, in your career. This is what all of this is telling me. Goodness gracious. Ah, oh, I'm Cancer Moon. My moon sign's Cancer. Yay! <laughs> right. Can you please have two cards on Atsum, please? Atsum. Two cards on Atsum, please. Why is Atsum here? The King of Swords and the Sun. <gasps> the message that I just got for this, Cancer, is don't wait for something to happen and pray for something to happen and then live your life according to something that hasn't happened yet because everybody involved has not made the decision yet because you're missing the sun. You are missing the sun. You are cutting out the present pieces that that is putting you in the sunshine at this moment. You're missing it. Wow, it's interesting because this is love. Hmm. Okay, well, there we go. Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. I think this might be your person's energy, Cancer. Um, I think your person is done with whatever is happening in their lives and I think your person is ready for the flowers to bloom Ooh, Okay, and then comes the healing with reflection does come healing. That's very very true Reflection is very healing because it takes you to a, to a place where you can see is this what I want? Is this where I want to be? This is gorgeous one more card for reflection please the Queen of Swords, guys. Look at that. The first card and the end card is a couple. It's a couple. I have this feeling that I have to draw three cards from another deck um, for the outcome, which is interesting. I've never had that before, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use this deck. Um, okay, so spirit. Please give us the messages that Cancer needs to hear. 
that needs to come out. Okay, unbound. We have that, and then we have this. Okay. <clears throat> unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. Your guidance is divinely guided. Wow, that's gorgeous. That is just beautiful. So Cancer, what I see here is with you, your career line, this is you doing what you do very well. This is the Knight of Wands. This is, you're very passionate in what you're doing and you're moving very quickly. And this is telling me that the universe, the universe has brought you to this point. But this is also telling me that the, the universe here, the universe at the wheel, is the bridge between you moving swiftly and your Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is money, especially in, the, in a career position, it's money. Also, it's everything that you ever want, everything that you would ever need and more. That's the Ten of Pentacles. And I feel that you've brought yourself to this point you with everything that you can do and that you know and you're good at your job you have brought yourself to this point and i feel you've been moving swiftly and quickly and i feel that you need to give the universe the wheel so that it can take you to a higher places to the hierophant here let's see what this is archangel michael this is the sword of truth right the Page of Pentacles, this is, this is someone bringing you a message that what you've been waiting for is happening now. This is in the present position. And this is Michael with the Sword of Truth and protecting the weaker ones, right? And then this is in your near future with community, everyone working together, taking you to a higher commitment, to a higher spiritual place, to being the boss of something this is you and this is the world and this tells me that you are moving towards the world you have the world in your hands cancer and this is this is gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous i love that this i'm going to see this all together right so you have this 22 this atsum be in the present be here now and you have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords here. I feel that this is you with your significant other. And I feel these swords, it's air energy by the way, but the, the swords I put back to Michael as well because he carries the Sword of Truth. I feel that whatever has happened with you guys, maybe you were in a good place, but your significant other wasn't. Um, and I think it's it's I think that's why this is here because this is when so it's not just your decision someone else needs to make a decision that would influence your relationship your life everything else um, and because of that it's still up in the air but I think this person is now done with whatever they were not happy about or were struggling with and it's blooming it's the pentacle it's 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 I'm giving you my pentacle and this is the healing part of it and we have reflection looking back at the things that we've been doing and where we've been and whatever and and this is your person healed enough now to make the decision to to go forwards with this um, and then we have this unbound releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives if you are in a relationship that it's not, that is not fulfilling, maybe it's time for you to move on and to release all of that. And maybe you're already doing it because this is this is like in the in the present and this is in the future. So you maybe you've been releasing a lot of stuff. This one is, you're already doing it, stop overthinking, keep facing your true north. So whatever you've been thinking, go on with that, it's working. And you are divinely guided. You have so much wisdom. You have so much 
so much of your past lives with you. You've mastered it all. You've mastered it so that you can come into this life to use it. So use it. Okay, let's leave you with three cards of guidance from the divine. Oh, and look, Kali, the bottom of the deck, endings and beginnings. Yeah. This year is all about endings and beginnings, Cancer. And it looks like um, your relationship life might be might be having an ending for the new beginning to be able to come in, but your career is like blooming and it's gorgeous. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. Please, can we have three cards for guidance from the Divine Goddesses, please, for Cancer for June 2020? Especially in love, please, because I think that is where Cancer might need it. Oh no, it's a golden opportunity. Maybe that leads you to a better love life as well. Guiding children. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness, Michael with the kids, guiding children. Children might not be children as in physical children, like a child. It might actually be spiritually um, or emotionally where someone, an adult, might need your guidance. Okay, one more card please for Cancer. It's interesting while I talk that no cards would come out. <laughs> okay, one more card for Cancer please. High Priestess. Okay, so we have golden opportunity, which I think is directly um, connected to your career. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Don't let fear stop you, Cancer. When you get this golden opportunity, take it and walk through the door. Demara, guiding children, you are good at helping, counseling and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. Like I said, this might actually really mean that it's not... It's not a child as in a physical child. It might actually be someone that needs your spiritual and emotional energy right now, Cancer. Dana, High Priestess, you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. There we go. It's in your Akash, Cancer. You simply need to take it out and use it. It's right there. But remember what I said in the beginning. Nothing will happen for you if you don't ask. You need to ask. You need to give permission. You need to ask the right question for the right answer to be able to be given to you. Otherwise, it also won't help. So, Cancer, well done on your career um, line. This is amazing. And um, yeah, good luck with the crumbling and the birthing of a new age of whatever is happening in your love life. Um, my thoughts are with you. I send you all lots of love and light.